So I want to give a Cash App shout out to William Scott Jr. Thanks a lot for the Cash App. You always comment great stuff on my videos. So here's why Tony Khan books his big men like jobbers. It's quite simple. He wants to make them less appealing for the WWF. Once he found out that Triple H was very interested in Wardlow, that's when Wardlow's booking went downhill. Once he found out that the WWF wants Hobbs, that's when Hobbs' booking went downhill. That's when like we barely see Hobbs. Hobbs is booked like a low mid-car guy. And it's like, see, when you do that, it makes people turn on Orange Cassidy. Because it makes no sense. Why is Wartlow booked like a joke? A mid-car joke who always drops the belt to somebody that's not on his level. Why did you give Hobbs a, what, a month title reign? If that, I think it was four weeks, maybe? If that, but you book Orange Cassidy like he's Roman Reigns. You're booking Orange Cassidy like he's Gunther, the ring general. Seriously, dude, Orange Cassidy is booked just as strong as Gunther, the ring general. That is a trap that makes no sense. Look, man, we got to start putting more respect on Vince McMahon's name in terms of I don't remember ever seeing the IC belt being booked like the 24 7 championship. Dude, when it came to Ricochet, dude, he had a better run as IC champion than Warlow. Let that sink in. See, people always want to bitch and complain about, oh, there were times where Vince didn't book the IC belt on pay-per-views because there was no opponents that were quality. See, look, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. Ricochet had no quality opponents for him. So don't force it. It's not about quantity. You have to earn your spot on these cards. That's what Vince did. Earn your spot. I'm not gonna book you just because you're a champion. Make us care why you are a champion. Hence why Ricochet lost to Gunther, right? So, it makes people just turn on Orange Cassidy, man. It's like, why is he like, dude, Orange Cassidy has had that belt for like, what, six, seven months? A very, very long time. If you compare that to whoever holds the damn TNT Championship, dog, it's not, it's not close. It's like, dude, the European title was more valuable than the TNT Championship. But the reason why Tony Khan books his big guys like jobbers is because he wants to lowball their offers, right? If he books Wartlow like he's Goldberg, oh man, that's going to raise his price when Triple H gives him a contract. If he he books Hobbs like he's Lashley. Man, that's going to make Warlow and Hobbs more expensive, right? That's going to raise their price range when their contracts are up. See, he don't care about booking small guys as top guys, right? Because he knows Triple H does not want to sign Sammy G. He knows Triple H does not want to sign Jack Perry. And he knows Max is not going anywhere. Hence why he's booked so strong. Why the hell would he book Max so strong if he thinks Max is going to leave? See what I'm saying? He books Wartlow and Hobbs like jokes because he thinks they are going to leave. So if he books them like jokes, that's going to lower their price offer when they do leave. That's what Vince Man did with a lot of talent. Once he found out that somebody was gonna leave, he always jobbed them out, right? To make them look less appealing for other companies. That's what Tony Khan is doing. He's trying to make Hobbs and Wardlow look less appealing for the WWF. That's what he's doing. Because there's no reason why Hobbs is booked like a joke. It's like, 
why is why is QT Marshall his manager? Why is Wardlow getting short title reigns? It's like that makes no dude. Nothing was accomplished with Hobbs as champion. In fact, you kind of buried him. Last week he said he was never going to lose the DNT Jebbership. But guess what? Next week he lost it. So by that same logic, he is buried once again. How can we ever take Hobbs for his word if he broke his word? Somebody tried to make the old WCW comparison with the TV title versus the TNT Championship by saying they booked that title the same way in WCW, which is not true, by the way, but let's just make that comparison. Okay, why are we still comparing everything in the past? I don't get it. Just because it was done in the past doesn't mean we should do it in 2023. Why can't why can't we be better than the past? That's why it's the past. Why can't we be better than that? Just because you had dreadlocks in the past don't mean you should have dreads in 2023. Just because Jay-Z was dressed up like a gangster in 1996, that don't mean he should dress like that in 2023. You have to evolve, be better. It's like just because it was done in the 90s, that don't mean we should do it today. Hence why it was the 90s. Live in this era, dummy. It makes no sense. It makes no sense why people can't have long title reigns in this company. Dude, Wesley from NXT has had a long reign. Very long reign. Gufa Zaring Janelel has had a long reign. When you give guys long reigns, you make the title feel more prestigious. You can't play hot potato because nobody will care. Nobody cares about the TNT Championship. It is a mid-card belt, but it feels like the 24 7 Championship. Like, nobody cares. It will not get you over. It's like, why is he doing this? Why does he book the belt so trash? But, that's the main reason why he books big guys like jokes. If he books big Cass as a monster, then most likely Triple H will want to bring him back with more money. That's why Khan is booking him like a joke. He books all his big guys like jokes because he knows that the WWF, they love big guys. If he books big guys as monsters, that will entice them to leave you see, what if Triple H might give Hobbs or Wardlow a low ball offer based on how the way they're booked in all elite wrestling? That's the point. That's why Khan is doing it. He wants, he wants them to make them look less appealing for Triple H if they were to leave, right? That's why they are job guys. That's why Cage is a jobber. If he books Cage like a monster, that's going to make Triple H want to bring him in. Because Hobbs, Wartlow, Cage, they look like Raw main eventers. They look like SmackDown main eventers. If Khan books them like monsters, man, that's going to up the price offer for Triple H. And Khan would not be able to sign those guys back. Listen, here's what I mean. If... He books Jack Perry as a five-time world champion. Do you think that's going to make Triple H want to sign him? Of course not. He has no upside. But if he made Wartlow or Hobbs a main eventer or a multiple-time world champion, man, Triple H will give those guys millions of dollars. Triple H will give those guys millions of dollars, which Khan cannot match. That's why those guys are low card, mid card guys. Because if he were to book them like Goldberg, oh man, they will leave. Dude, they will leave quickly. If Hobbs was booked like Bobby Lashley, oh my gosh, Hobbs will be leaving very, very soon if he was booked like Lashley. 
Triple H will make him a main eventer quickly. That's why he don't book big guys strong. Now, do you get it? This is not a conspiracy theory. These are facts. Look at Miro. Where is Miro? Once Tony Khan found out that Miro might go back to the WWF, that's when he kept Miro off of TV. That's when his booking went to dog shit. Because Miro is a big guy. He knows Triple H would want to bring him back. You know what I'm saying? Look at Keith Lee. He is booked like a joke. All his big guys are booked like giant jokes. Because he wants to make them look less appealing for Triple H if he were to bring them in. There's a huge difference by making Sammy G a war champion versus making Hobbs a war champion. If he makes Hobbs a war champion, dude, Triple H will pay him tons of money. He don't care about Sammy G. He don't care about those small guys. That's why Tony Khan is doing it. That's why Tony Khan books small guys so strong because he knows that the WF does not care about those guys. They care about those big guys that will draw some money. For example, last year, do you remember the match between Wardlow and CM Junk? There was tons of reports online that said that the WWF is very interested in Wardlow, not Max. They said Wardlow, not Max. That's when Wardlow's booking became shit. These are facts. Those were the rumors that they want to bring in Wardlow after he leaves. Dude, Wardlow has been booked like trash since. He had that one little hot little run and then Wardlow was booked like garbage last summer. It's like Tony Khan, once he found that out, he cooled off Wardlow like crazy because he wants to lower his offer when he does leave, right? He thinks if he books Wardlow like a mid-card job guy, Triple H might give him less money, which might make Wardlow wanna stay. So I feel like Wardlow and Hobbs are being sabotaged. Miro, sabotaged. Cage, sabotaged. Big Cass, sabotaged. Look, if he books Wardlow and Hobbs like jokes, hell, that might give them some contracts in NXT, not on a main roster. See what I'm saying? That's the point. If he books Wardlow and Hobbs like mid-card jokes, that might give them contracts in NXT but not on a main roster because they see that okay they have no value on Dynamite and Rampage why should we give them tons of money on Raw and Smackdown if right now they are booked like mid-card guys if they were booked strong hell no Wardlow would not go to NXT Hobbs would not go to NXT if he was booked strong See what I'm saying? People think if Max were to leave, he wouldn't go to NXT. Why is that? Because he's booked like a superstar. Even though in reality, Max should go to NXT. But based on his booking, based on how strong he is on a card, if he were to leave, most likely he will be on Raw or SmackDown. He would skip NXT. But based on how bad Hobbs and Wardlow's current standing is on a card, if they were to leave, hell, they might go to NXT, even though they should be on the main roster. But based on how bad they are booked, it makes them look like they're not important. Khan is doing that on purpose. He's trying to lower their value for the open market. Right? You see, Mac is trying to up his offer for the market. The better he's booked, the more he thinks his money will go up. The worse Hobbs is booked, the worse Wardlow is booked, the lower their money offers is going to be. That's why it's bad what Tony Khan is doing. See, people think if Hobbs were to leave, they think he would go 
to NXT, not the main roster. Okay, whose fault is that? You serious? Hobbs should be a main eventer. He should be on Raw or SmackDown, but based on how, he, how the way he's booked now, people think he should go to NXT. But why? It's because how bad he's booked. Nobody thinks Hobbs is a top guy. Whose fault is that? Max looks like he's above NXT. Hobbs don't. Wardlow don't. Whose fault is that? It's all about the booking. When you book guys weak, you are lowering their value for the open market. So now, if they were to leave, they might go to NXT, which is a bad thing. If they were booked strong, man, Hobbs would be on Raw and SmackDown. But based on his booking, it's hard to see that now. Listen, the more Tony Khan books Hobbs and Wartlow like losers, it makes them less appealing in the fans' eyes. It makes them less over. It makes them seem like, okay, these guys are not that good. How come these guys are not cracking the main event scene in all elite wrestling? So I'm saying, I tell you, it, it lowers their name on the open market. Look, there was a point in time where Wartlow used to be cool. Now it's like, man, he don't have it no more. But it's not his fault. It's just bad booking. Hobbs used to be cool. Now Hobbs is a loser with QT Marshall. See what I'm saying? Why is Hobbs with QT Marshall? Dude, just keep him with Taz. Why did you take away Taz? How come Ricky Starks? Seems like he's better booked than Hobbs. Now, Ricky is good, but Hobbs has more upside. But, like I said, last summer I said, Wartlow is buried. Do you remember when he turned down the Battle Royal to become the number one contender for the world title? I said, hold on, that's stupid. You are hot. Strike while the iron is hot. Why would you not go after the world title, but go after a mid-card belt? That's stupid. Just win the Battle Royal and challenge Dean Ambrose for the interim world title make that make sense but he said no i'm like what and ever since then he has never challenged for the world title so what did that accomplish i said dog he's buried why would you turn down the battle royal to become the world champion but you decide to go after a worthless mid-card belt i made multiple videos about it i said bruh he's buried Am I wrong? Was I proven right? Is Wartlow a top guy in your eyes? Nope, but it's not his fault. Ever since then, he's been booked like the All-American Lex Luger and Braun Strowman. That's how he's been booked ever since. He's been booked like a loser. Same as Hobbs. Like I said, the more Tony Khan books those guys like trash it makes them less appealing in the WWF's eyes that's his goal that's his plan so I'm saying if he books Orange Cassidy like a monster who cares that's not gonna make Triple H wanna sign him of course not right listen Triple H is going to look at Hobbs as the next Bobby Lashley and the next Ahmed Johnson. Back when Ahmed was actually good. If he books Wartlow like a confident monster who doesn't lose matches, who looks like a badass, Triple H is going to look at him as the next Batista. Tony Khan doesn't want that. So if he books them like trash... It's going to give them low ball offers to a point where I'm telling you, Hobbs looks like he might go to NXT. Dude, it's quite obvious. If you notice, Tony Khan only books certain guys strong who have no upside for the WWF. Dante Martin, um, Sammy G, Jack Perry, OC. Um, there's so many guys that he books strong that we all know 
they have no future on Raw or SmackDown. So Tony Khan doesn't care if he books those guys strong. Those guys are not going to lose him money or lose him sleep if he were to book them strong because we all know Triple H does not want Sammy G or Jack Perry. So, like I said, he is sabotaging all his big men that have huge upside with Raw and SmackDown. Can you imagine Wutlow versus Roman Reigns? Can you imagine Lashley versus Sheamus? See what I'm saying? Like, there's tons of money they can make. But if they get sabotaged, they might not get big-time offers from Triple H. If he looks at them like job guys or guys that are mick or guys that are not cracking the main event scene on Dynamite. So he's lowering their value, man, and it's wrong. That's it. I'm, I'm good. 